Hi and welcome back to my channel. I thought I would show you something that I have been doing for about a year, maybe two years. I have been collecting these mythographic coloring books and they started off with this author, Joseph Kattenbang, and eventually Fabiana Atanasio started producing these coloring books. So I thought what I would do is show you my entire collection and a flip through of the one that just came in today. Now, for Joseph Kattenbang, he has, well, actually, let's do something first. Let's get this one here. Yeah. This one here is by Alessandra Fusi. I don't know if there's going to be more coloring books by this artist, but this one is called Wanderlust. And, of course, I can't do flip-throughs of 14, 15 coloring books, but this is Wanderlust. And all of these coloring books have exceptional detail. Now, Wanderlust appealed to me because of this octopus picture right here. So who knows what I'll be doing. Now, I know I don't color anymore, but it doesn't mean I stopped my love of collecting all things coloring. And if you saw over to the right of me, you'll see packages, packages of color pencils that I have not even yet opened, taking the shrink wrap off. So, Joseph Cadbang was the first author artist who did these mythographic coloring books and you can see them right here you have uh odyssey imagine aquatic animals voyage in wild winter and the covers are here is odyssey here is imagine i'm sorry i'm waiting for it to uh, focus then you have aquatic animals Voyage, and again, we have Wild Winter. Of the Cat and Bang coloring books, I have to tell you, I put Wild Winter at the bottom for a good reason, because this is my favorite of Cat and Bang's coloring books. So those are the Cat and Bang coloring books, and that's what got me interested in Mythographic. Now, those of us, those of you who do color on a regular basis, you might say, oh yeah, that looks a lot like Kirby Rosanis, and I agree 100%. I won't show you this really quickly. That's the style that a lot of us thought of, like when I was really involved with the coloring community, which I am no longer involved with at all. We said, oh, his work looks just like uh, Kirby Rosanis. And some people didn't want to buy the books. I, saw, I bought one, and as you can see, I bought a bunch more. So, take that off camera. So I wanted to show you my Fabiana Atanasio mythographic coloring books. But before I do that, this stack here is my love affair with this beautiful artist and these Disney themed coloring books. And there are nine of them and they, uh, they were impossible to collect, but I got all nine although I had to get two or three of them in Italian, but it was well worth it. So I have Alice in Wonderland, Adventures of Pinocchio, Beauty and the Beast, uh, I think that's the Jungle Book, Cinderella, Hansel and Gretel, The Wizard of Oz, Peter Pan, and Snow White. So, as mentioned, Alice in Wonderland. Now, I've got a piece of paper here, so, oh, I don't know, that's not even supposed to be there. I thought it, I was holding a place. But this is, I think I've done one page in this. I started this page. It looks like I never finished. But I know, oh, I did the Mad Hatter. So I did do one page in this book. I'm pretty proud of this page. Yeah, that's me. That's how I used to color when I was a regular colorist. So that's pretty much all I've done there. Then the Adventures of Pinocchio. Haven't done anything in that. Beauty and the Beast. And again, I had to get some in Italian in order to collect all nine before they went out of print. This is the Jungle Book. Now, the Jungle Book really appeals to me because my son, Alan, who is now 34, he loved the Jungle Book when he was a kid. And this, the song for that movie will always be near and dear to my heart. So that's the Jungle Book. This is Cinderella. As you can see, again, it's in Italian. And I tell you, she's an exceptional artist. And then I have Hansel and Gretel. The Wizard of Oz. Who of us doesn't remember growing up with The Wizard of Oz? At least if you're in my generation, you do. Peter Pan. And last but not least, Snow White. 
Now, I feel like I'm doing a duplicate. Oh, okay, no, I'm not. Because I feel like I've done, I, yeah. I started the, the Seven Dwarfs, but I wasn't happy with one of their skin. But, yes, this one here. Once I did his face, I got really discouraged. But I did do this page over here. So, but I, I haven't colored in a while. I did that page. I think I may have done one. Oh, yeah, I did this page. So, this is Snow White. So, I used to really, really enjoy coloring. So, Fabiana Atanasio no longer makes these books, but she does have an Etsy store, and she has done some pages of that have Disney themes, and you can buy them on her Etsy store. So, that collection is what I have. I'm not even sure what's left on Amazon as far as being produced. But then she started doing the mythographic coloring books. Of course, I hadn't colored any of them, any pages in any of them. But when you like an author, you collect that author, or you read everything that author wrote. Or if you like an artist, you collect that artist and everything that artist draws. And that's what I'm doing here. So I started collecting her mythographic coloring books. And that's what you see here. You see Frozen Fantasies. Enchanted Castles, Dream Garden, Paradise. Now, I, I have a page here because I was going to color, and but I just wasn't feeling it. I didn't mess this page up. Oops, there we go. It's not messed up or anything. I just have to go back to it. So that is Paradise, and then the one that just came, Menagerie. Now, I'm going to show you Menagerie as a flip through since it literally just came today. I think this came out just a couple of days ago. So, it's a brand new book by Fabiana Atanasio. And so, let's do a flip through of it. So, we, are, we always have a title page. With every coloring book, you have a title page. And then, this book goes right in to the pictures. And this is my first foray into this book, so you're going to enjoy it as I look through it for the first time. And as I look through it, if I see anything that really appeals to me, I will tell you which page. Like, I love these meerkats already. See, I found one that appeals to me. Oh, look at this creature with all kinds of things coming out of it. Fish and water and, oh, wow. That's cool. Another creature, uh, like a warthog or something. Uh, forgive me for not knowing my animals. Dino a rhinoceros or a warthog. Okay. We're not going to call her animal names because Robin sometimes messes up on that. But you see how she has the castle coming out from it and some fa fauna coming out of it. Okay. So far, my favorite page has just popped up. And this is a gorilla and a baby gorilla. Yep. There we have it. I, I don't think anything's going to match that. We have a unicorn right here with some, you know, this is kind of like a steampunk within the unicorn. An octopus. Now, remember I showed you an, I may have shown you an octopus in a uh, uh, cat and bang book that appealed to me. So now I have two octopus pictures to color. And this one here. Again, I'm not going to call up my animal names because I'm not up on, I'm not paying attention to that. But this looks like a shark with a building on his back and he's coming out of the water. And you see some um, ice, uh, whatever you want to call them. Forgive my ignorance. Look at these guys in their tuxedos. Look at that one. That's cool. Then you have these uh, this owl. Oh, these pictures are glorious. Now, these are all single-sided pictures in every single mythographic coloring book. So you would be able to use permanent markers if that's what you chose to do. And look at this one with the clock and the cards. This reminds me of one of her Disney theme books. Alice in Wonderland, actually. And then you have the cat is in a jar reaching for the fish that are on the outside of the jar. That's cool. I don't know if this jar is meant to be inside. Yeah, the jar is meant to be inside of an aquarium because you have the water, bu water bubbles. Oh, that's kind of cool. All right. 
this bird, whatever bird it is, and you can feel free to correct me in the comments below, I won't be offended, is rowing a boat with a cage and butterflies flying out of the cage. This zebra with a house that's coming through it and it's in like a forest or near a pond because, or because I see an island in the back, so maybe a lake. Look at this one here. Wow. Beautiful. Then you have a bear looking like it's trying to catch some fish in the water. And here you have this beautiful cat with all the flowers and leaves around it right here. And then here you have an otter. I like the swirling water. That would be nice to color that water in different shades of blue and green. And here you have birds in the ne uh, not in a nest but in a tree on branches. You have three, four birds. And here, oh goodness, I wish I could call a moose maybe. Okay, forgive me. I I have a headache, so we're going to blame it on the migraine I'm experiencing at this moment. That'll work, right? Then we have some more fish and also airplanes. So the fish are airplanes. Oh, that's cool. And then this one, we're looking at another animal with a building in the back on a boardwalk here. Oh, look at this one. You've got a writer or an artist and then you have another one that is bringing food through the window it's at night because you have the moon so like if i were to color this picture this part of the picture here i would do like a midnight blue color so that the moon would be like a bright yellow and there you have a panda with the bamboo beautiful but remember if i call these animals wrong you can correct me Beautiful picture of butterflies with a with a bell right here or some type of uh, chalice. Okay, what is this? It's fish, obviously, because it's fish here. But this is kind of like a a balloon with a fish as the balloon, and then you have the little uh, images of cities. Oh. Come on, hedgehogs, beautiful hedgehogs. Okay, what do we have here? I can't remember what these babies are called, but, oh, sloth, it's a sloth. There you have it, I love sloths. And then you have a kangaroo, two kangaroos, nope, several kangaroos, one, two, and three. There you have them. This is a beautiful book, look at this one here. I like all the fauna and flora in all of these pictures. I really do. By the way, these pictures are, in every book has are perforated pages if you wanted to take the pages out. I personally would not, but I just wanted to mention that. So here you have uh, birds in a house with a, that looks like a well, perhaps, right there. Okay. Seahorses, two seahorses underwater because you see the bubbles. Okay, can't call this animal, so I'm not going to even try. Again, it's a moon, so another night picture. And here we have a huge snake, obviously, and it's, it's going around the tree and the house. And then the, there's a tree coming out of the house. Beautiful. Okay, here, I'm not quite sure if that's, I'm not even sure what this one is. You can tell me in the description, if, in the comments if you'd like. Here, it looks like we have a turtle with a world on its back and other images are all around it. And then we have this one with birds and cactus, or should I say cacti? Alligator or crocodile, I always get those two confused. This one here, I'm not quite sure. What, oh, it's a bat. I had to take a good look at it. 
a bag oh, with eggs. So I don't know if it's about to steal those eggs. If it is, poor babies, you're gone. Look at this baby. He's so pretty. I love this book. I love all of these books, and I'm going to keep collecting them, and I'm actually going to show you something in a moment. These rabbits. And is that a koala? I'm pretty sure that's a koala. Three, four lions. Not my favorite picture in the book by no means, by any means. Another owl. So there's two owl pictures in the book. We're getting to the end. And then this one, you got a little girl with a, with a bird. I think it might be a toucan. Not sure. And there's a bowl there. I'm not quite sure what this is. Maybe that's a doorway or something. And that's it. And... It just tells you more about the mythographic coloring books. Of course, as I mentioned, I have them all. And I wanted to share that flip through with you. But guess what? I'm not done with my mythographic collection. Because I have this one coming October 4th. I'm going to wait for it to... There we go. Magical Earth by Joseph Kettenbang. And it says that there's 14 books in the mythographic collection. So I have to count what I have and see if I'm missing any because I'm not going to be missing any and if you can tell it's a blue link so therefore the link is clickable and if I can remember correctly I will put that link in the description below that way you can look at all of the 14 mythographic coloring books and decide if you want any for your own collection or for your own enjoyment so that is my Flip through of Menagerie and my sh showing you my collection of the mythographic coloring books. I want to thank you for watching. Bye bye.